According to astronomers, the James Webb Telescope has recently discovered a gigantic structure close to the Milky Way Galaxy Center. What precisely is this enormous structure, and what effects will it have on cosmic research as we currently understand it? Keep reading to learn all the specifics in this most recent shocking news. The James Webb Space Telescope, operated by NASA, has operated brilliantly since its launch in December 2021, with cutting-edge features like a near-infrared camera among others. It's still the most advanced and potent telescope that's currently on the market. James Webb released more precise photographs of this Defiance Quintet, the Southern Ring Nebula, and the Carina Nebula in July. We can see the early stages of the birth of these galaxies and stars in some of the well-known pictures because the light from some of these galaxies took billions of years to reach us. James Webb is being used to study one of the universe's strangest phenomena, even though imaging distant stars is stunning. Black holes are among the most potent forces in the universe, not just an odd cosmic occurrence. These discrete regions of space and like stars and galaxies are so densely gravitationally bound that even light cannot escape their gloomy depths. Light can still exist though and continue to create patterns. An international team of academics and scientists set out to capture the first image of a black hole, with Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy is their target. Sagittarius A's image was nearly impossible to obtain, necessitating the collaboration of several observatories and radio telescopes from around the world. A network of 10 observatories work concurrently from Spain to the French Alps and all the way to MIT in the United States, resulting in the largest planet-sized telescope ever operated. Atomic clocks were set at each station to start the process at the same time as the antennas and observatories because the antennas from these observatories needed to be synced to the millisecond. About 27,000 light years from Earth, Sagittarius A and the Event Horizon Telescope navigate a sea of stars, planets, and cosmic dust. To recreate the photographed image, the gathered data was combined and processed using sophisticated mathematical techniques. The reconstructed image shows Sagittarius A's first vision, which appeared as a blazing ring of light in the shape of a donut. The black hole's brilliant yellow ring is made up of a white cloud of hot plasma that has a temperature of more than 18 billion degrees. The event horizon is the boundary just outside of which light cannot escape the gravity of the supermassive black hole and is represented by the ring image rather than the black hole itself. Fahrenheit researchers were also able to determine that the supermassive black hole was roughly 4 million solar masses, or 4 million times the mass of the Sun, using the measurements of the ring surrounding Sagittarius A. Additionally, it implied that Sagittarius A had an apparent size it could fit within Venus's orbit and was very dense and compact. A group of scientists from the Chinese Academy of Science got intrigued by the motion of cosmic rays in and near the galactic center and made an amazing discovery. The scientists looked at various maps that showed how radioactive gamma rays moved as they exploded through and around the galactic center. Gamma rays, which are the universe's most energetic types of light, are created when cosmic rays, which are tremendously fast particles, smash with ordinary matter particles. Cosmic rays appear to be able to leave the galactic core, according to the study, but entering the region is more challenging due to this invisible barrier. About 26,000 to 27,000 light years from Earth, the galactic core can be found in the constellation Sagittarius. There are roughly 1 million times as many stars per light year in this area of space, which is also very dense and dusty. The supermassive black hole that holds the Milky Way galaxy together is surrounded by all of these stars and dust specks. This ongoing inflow of particles is referred to as the cosmic ray C. Scientists compare the cosmic ray density at the galactic center to the cosmic ray density in the cosmic ray C. Infrared telescopes cannot see cosmic rays, but gamma ray space maps, which depict regions of space where cosmic rays collide with other types of matter, can be used to locate them. Using this comparison, scientists concluded that something was actively preventing other cosmic ray particles from entering the galactic core in addition to accelerating and launching cosmic ray particles into space. At first, they thought the supermassive black hole in Sagittarius was the most likely source. Horizon scientists discovered supernova remnants and powerful stellar winds that originated in the early stages of the universe but became trapped at the center of the galaxy due to this invisible barrier. However, the idea that Sagittarius A was to blame for the barrier was rejected because the gamma ray image revealed a clear location where the concentration of cosmic rays appears to decrease dramatically. Scientists have stated that 
More research is needed to better understand how and why this invisible barrier exists in the center of our galaxy, and that this will require the assistance of the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope was meant to monitor the activity of Sagittarius A, which has proven difficult to investigate with prior smaller telescopes in collaboration with the New Horizons Telescope. James Webb will try to fathom the shifting effects of Sagittarius A, which appears to flare up hourly, making imaging extremely difficult. Will it succeed? That's all for this video. Do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!